Hey guys, this is going to be your daily reading. And I hope everything is fine and well with you. So let's give a little shuffle. The cards have already been prayed on. Oh, shablam. Okay, the high priestess. The high priestess is a card of someone who is able to use their intuition and their, um, their gut feeling on how to either bring things to them, co-creating with someone else. Um, they know that they create their surroundings. They're very privy to that, right? Oh, I can't get them now. Let's see, one moment. With that being said, I usually don't read upside down, but I'm going to right now. Um, remember that if you're the high priestess energy and you know you create everything that's around you and coming to you, that you're able to create this this as well. This is, uh, for me, this is, you're bringing in stability and happiness coming to you or a, you're going, it's give celebration vibes. But when I, right away, when I saw the four of wands, I feel a, a sturdiness or a groundedness in that. So it's not really about the celebration. It's about feeling the security with the four pillars or the four wands. But you're also able to make this as well, which is the uneasiness, the anxiety, having that energy as well. Just know that you're able to create both things and you are able to switch everything on a dime. You don't have to hold all that, that energy that makes you nervous or uneasy. <clears throat> so it's a reminder for that. So it's also a reminder you can be the king of pentacles. You can be that one that has all the money, that has all the security, that has that wisdom and the know-how. You just have to be willing to be able to create that that vibe. They're, they're telling me it's like when you fake it to make it. When you fake it to make it, everything starts to open up for you. <clears throat> Excuse me. And with that being said, I think <clears throat> having a throat chakra thing going on. I'm feeling someone that's watching this. And that is because you are about to... to open your chakra more by talking or you have a hard time talking so you feel suppressed and with that being said the tower card is here to show you and to open up at the same time <clears throat> sorry this is the way spirit gets me to recognize that there's something that has to do with the throat and speaking and confidence right with what we say and our words remember our words are our magic and our our spell right so whatever we say into <clears throat> excuse me that uh, whatever we say out and put out into the universe is what we get so with the tower card they're letting you know that it's okay for things to come and crumble because now we can move we can move things forward and move it into the the way that we need it for our lives now we can manifest it correctly Sometimes we got to break things down to be brought back up the proper way, the steady way. Yep. Yep. Look at this. Major changes are coming for you with the full card and the wheel of fortune. You are leaving some stuff behind. You're leaving the wishy-washy, un uneasy, uneasy vibe, the uneasy energy, this wishy-washiness. And then moving into here, you want to feel this way. You want to project this. You want to give out this energy. But because things are so... One moment. Okay, sorry about that. So with the fool card and Fool's card and the Wheel of Fortune, this is a whole new world, right? This is a whole new thing. And you are moving into a whole new cycle. So, and this cycle is something that you are projecting for yourself, right? You create it because you're the high priestess energy, male or female, the, the cards have no gender, but the um, fool's card is a whole new way of thinking, a new way of being, a new trajectory is what spirit is saying. The wheel of fortune is that energy of, well, first of all, you're getting good luck coming in. This is the universe having your back, all these back here, and the knowledge to push forward for your new, basically your new life, because it's such a new way of thinking for you that, um, 
it's going to take some some moments of learning. I'm not going to lie. It's not easy. It's not very, you know, very airy fairy. This is something that comes along with learning, right? Exactly the Hierophant. The Hierophant is for a community getting together with people that understand. They're giving me the burps, which is spiritual burps, letting me know that there needs to be a clearing around this. You need to, um, you need to, they're letting me know that you need to get your chakras in order. And with the Hierophant, this is uh, showing me that you need, you need, it's almost like you need to get the confidence to be able to go to school or meet that person or meet that organization that's going to be able to help you level up to your new position or your new lifestyle. Does that make sense? Finding the balance is going to help you in the longest, longest, long run, right? Balance is the thing that's going to keep you literally on the ground and being able to see what needs to come next. So if you have any questions or would like a deeper reading, personalized reading, you can always DM me, comment, and I'll be more than happy to help you. This is a major life change. <clears throat> And it's coming in strong and it's coming in hot. And it's like they're literally, literally giving me that vibe of it's inevitable. This is going to be coming to you no matter what. If you, no matter, like if you're stagnant about it, it'll come to you slowly. If you project it to come faster, it'll come faster because it's all about how you're manifesting it to you and the thoughts that you are carrying for this new lifestyle. It's a literal lifestyle. It's a whole change of the way you've been thinking. This is going to change everything, especially with with your tower card over here. No more wishy-washiness. No more, I'm not sure if this is going to work for me. No, it's changing. You're letting all that go to move into this new cycle of good fortune and working with um, either a company or you making a company that... You do need to talk to people to get things going, but once you get your footing and feeling that, that groundedness, then things will start to really push forward. So I hope you have a wonderful day, you guys. Thanks.